Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another episode. Wait. So today we need to make the gas centrifuges and it's almost done. Like this is the last step I have to do before putting fuel and coolant into the machine. Of course, it, this is an expensive machine. Making a mistake with this, that's bad. So today we're making coolant, gas centrifuges, and much more. So, let's get started. So you'll notice right now that I got this guy up and running. He's making dash. Dash is a critical component to the actual things we're making. How is this guy doing? He'll probably make like 16 and then stop. Which I guess is good enough. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows. I don't know how many I want. I just know I want quite a few. Because uh, you don't got enough of these guys bad things happen. So I am just gonna throw every single spare piece of titanium plating at this thing, have it have it do its stuff while we uh, continue with making dash. Because dash is going to become very important today, trust me. Trust me. Now other than that, it's really easy to make these things. It's not gonna be too difficult at all. Setting them up is gonna be a little bit hard because we have to make sure we set them up properly. Uh, that was all things should be. So we should have our dash in here. We got dash blends. Zirconium cubes are now being pumped out. And over here, boron ingots. So that's what we're getting from processing rare earth through the electrolyzer. Pretty good stuff. And that looks like it's all of our centrifuge blades that we can make. Or centrifuge um, things. Which centrifuges are a little more complex than this would have you believe actually. Because you need a fluid in centrifuges. Uh, but that that's not how it is in this, that's just how it is in the real world. You need to have a fluid in them, which does a lot of the stuff. So it's, it's magic. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure there's a great way of explaining it, but uh, you need fluid in them in the real world. They use fluid. Uh, we, we should probably have 26, 28 would probably be a, a even number, but eh, who cares. And this needs d uh, dash bars, bake light bars. And the whole everything, basically, all advanced past post oil stuff, steel plates, got them heating oil, advanced circuit, no problem. Really, I'm just gonna split these up because no point in having them the other way. So that's that's those guys done. Bake light bars, and I got tons of these. Pretty good. There we go. Just shove it in. Next step needs more tungsten ingots. So, we're gonna process all these tungsten ingots into tungsten wires. Like so. That's that's a lot of tungsten wires. Okay, make make more of them though, because I'm gonna need a lot more than that. So, we're gonna need an iron ingot. Do we have any more iron ingots? Or are we all out? Probably the lighter. So, we're gonna get 12 heating coils out, which is enough to make three of the gas centrifuges. And you need two for each of these. So, that ain't, that ain't good, that ain't good at all. We need more. Fortunately, we don't need too many more, but we do need a few more. So we're gonna check and see if we have any tungsten ingots in these. Because that could be a th Yeah, we actually have a lot of tungsten here. I should have seen that last episode instead of smelting up all of our tungsten powder. We should easily be able to turn these into what we need. We need heating coils, correct? So... I don't know how many that's gonna make. It's gonna make 64 in it. Uh, we need to make a little bit more than that. Probably like three stacks that should do. And then shove all of this garbage into here. What was that? Titanium plates? Get those out of there. Perfect. Okay. So now we got three stacks of these. Time to split them up into those. And uh, now I need to split these guys up into uh, covering everything. Now my mouse is broken. So I don't like to do that a lot, because it sometimes just picks up everything over and over again. Which is not fun. <laughs> so... Time to make stuff. We need, uh, this is gonna make four, which is pretty good. I would... I think what I needed in the previous... The previous time I've made this thing, which I did not make it in a YouTube vi video series or anything, it was just on my own with some friends. Um, when I made it then, I actually probably needed more of these guys than four. I had I had four set up, I think. Now, of course, the, a, a thing to note about these gas centrifuges is that they are going to need power. Uh, so, yeah. 
And you may be wondering, well, if I already have gas centrifuges, why can I not just use them? Well, I, I, I don't really want to do that, because that would mess up the uranium setup, which is more important than actually getting rid of the waste material. Because I need the ability to make uranium into fuel and all that, and uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. But there's also something else that's important, and it's called coolant, which we're also going to be taking care of today. Now you may notice I have a bunch of electrical stuff on me as well, which we're going to be setting up that as part of setting up this. It's it's kind of a two-stage thing. You need power for your gas centrifuges, but that's kind of obvious, and I'm pretty sure most of you all know that. So, we're gonna need a piece of paper, we're gonna need a piece of bone meal. I Don't ask me how this ends up making a blueprint, but it just does. Okay, it's it's magic. Okay, it's it's some real magic. Okay, so uh, we need coolant. And uh, that's, that's, that's this right here. Coolant mixing. That costs nitre and water. Pretty easy. So if we just shove it in an infinite water barrel into this guy, and also, shove in... Oh, shove in this template, infinite water barrel, shove in some niter, and then we're good to go. So I'm here for niter, and niter can be found in this box here. And I don't think we're gonna need too much of this. We're actually not gonna need too much of this. We're only gonna need less than a stack, actually. We're also gonna need a barrel for it. Uh, but we'll take care of that in a bit. Maybe two barrels, even. And you never lose this stuff, so you only need as much as, as you need to shove into the thing. So, we're gonna we're gonna fill up a barrel with some of that, and uh, then we're gonna be off on our way. So, we're gonna set this guy to coolant. Oh, hey, it's already set. Nice. We're also gonna need one set to water, so I'm gonna leave that thing as its secondary. Because uh, we will need to dump water into the uh, second loop. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Have I shown you all the basement where I farm Fallout? I don't think I have, and that's that's something I actually did. A, not like actually, I think that might have happened over. The, yeah, that was over the past four days before before I before the first episode I recorded this weekend. So that would be a couple episodes ago. I, I just forgot to mention that um, there's actually a section down here dedicated to farming Fallout from waste blocks, and it's quite interesting. And I have not talked about it. It needs to be on the list of things to talk about. So there you go. That's why I'm talking about it right now. You're welcome. So we can handle 64 buckets of coolant, which is indeed a lot. And uh, how am I gonna get up there? I'm probably gonna just jump on this guy a couple times. Boom. And dumping in a fourth of what we need, coolant-wise. Probably even more of that. I'm probably gonna want more of that. Uh, this guy needs to have water pumped into him soon. So that's gonna be our next thing that we're gonna deal with. So, to actually get all of our coolant that we need, I think I can make it happen using barrels. And not the not the not the ones we're currently using. We're just got, we're going to just use barrels. And we're going to fill up a few of them and then dump them in. So, uh we're going to need two. We're going to need to fill this guy to full and then we're going to take barrels with us to fill it up. Not directly cuz you can't fill fill barrels directly into the thing. No. We're gonna be taking the barrels with us to fill up this guy after he has empty. Okay, I got my coolant barrels. I'm gonna switch over to water. Because we're gonna need to switch it over to water in a bit. Oh, this is basically everything we need to finish up the plant. For the reactor. Make it actually runnable. And then we can make fuel. Which, fuel is actually way... Way more difficult, I think. But we do have Neptunium, which is much better for something. I forgot what it's used for, but I, I remember needing Neptunium for this pack in the day. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have Neptunium for it, I guess. Because that is an option. You can't, but it's mostly Shrubidium is what you'll see people using. So, we need to dump some water into this pump. No, not pump, this boiler. What we're gonna do here is set up a water. We're gonna put a dump there. Boom. And, uh, that should, that should just fill it up. Gotta wait till it's full. And then we're gonna set this guy to not doing anything. And we're gonna make fuel. We're gonna make fuel, finally. So, uh... Yeah. I'm excited. I know you all are probably excited because you've been waiting se 70 episodes. Oh, I'm forgetting one thing. Almost forgot we need to set up these guys. So, from the reactor, these guys can just come off and do their thing. Pretty pretty simple. 
Kind of. It's actually really simple. And we're just gonna have pairs of two of these all the way down. You need quite a few. I think 12 is what you need, or you can use the upgrade uh, for these. I mean, six should probably be fine. Honestly, I don't expect us to be producing that much. But if we do end up producing that much, then hey, th we got enough for, uh, I don't know, six of these guys? Maybe, hopefully? I will go ahead and give you all an explanation of why I'm setting up this the way I am. So, basically, what we're gonna do is we're going to have a line that comes out of here and carries the poisonous mod into there, and then it goes down to the next one, it comes up, boom, then goes to the next one, and finally does that again. Boom. And that means that's going to be our poisonous mud pipe. So we're just going to sit into poisonous mud and then everything should be good. Then all these guys need to set to poisonous mud. And that means it's going to need... Uh, poisonous sludge gas to poison heavy sludge fraction. To... <laughs> it only needs one. It only needs one, actually. I have six of these. And they're in pairs of two for some reason, because I thought it needs two for each one. <laughs> That's a bit of excess in it. <laughs> okay, then. Well, I guess we'll just have to hook them up uh, like this. Why not? Okay. Actually, this is the worst piping I've ever seen. Let's do that again. Do it good and proper. If you're gonna do it, do it right. So, uh, I guess that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna hook up all these guys, like so. Boom. As you can see, it goes to heavy sludge fraction. Does this guy also have heavy sludge fraction? Heavy sludge fraction to empty. Okay, so it does need to be pairs of two. I don't know why it was doing what it was doing, but it, w it was doing things weird. And it was not setting these guys to what they need to be. Uh-oh. The Mask Man is about to claim another victim. Well, guys, uh, we might have to end today's episode a bit early. I've been waiting to fight this guy for a little bit. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. And hopefully the Mask Man doesn't claim you as a vi his victim.